loneliness. So some of us have nobody around and we just feel lonely a lot. Maybe some of us have people around, but we still feel lonely. And uh, me personally, I have people around me, but I still tend to um, get this feeling like something is missing sometimes. And um, I'm just going to address this for anyone that feels a similar way. Um, people are around them and they're feeling lonely or you just don't have a lot of people around or just people aren't hearing you. If you're feeling like something is missing and if you're feeling like you're lonely, the thing to do about that is to remember that sinking into that feeling isn't going to bring you anything positive and sinking into that negative feeling is not going to help you or strengthen you it's not going to give you any kind of clarity it's not going to give you any kind of positive insight if you're going in a negative direction and you have to stop the negative momentum the best that you can and only you can figure out how to do that for yourself but for me the only way I can stop any kind of negative momentum that comes my way is by doing my practice. I have to meditate every single day. I have to pray every single day. And um, I always try to exercise and, and practice guitar and uh, do some writing, um, things like that. Get, my, get all my chores done, spend some really good quality time with my daughter, uh, things along those lines. Reading with my daughter and um, eating good meals, just all little things. I'm trying to just take really good care of myself because me personally, I randomly, I can just fall into negative feelings and uh, things like that, things that seem like depression. But when I know, when I remember that um, these things are temporary, um, that's what helps me to feel set free from that. But it's easy to forget because um, you don't always just have that just posted, like depression's temporary. Um, for a lot of us it's an invisible concept and uh, it's easy to forget because it's invisible but it's something that we have to remember we should probably post somewhere that depression is just like a cloud but but you are the earth you are the sky and you're always there um, that was, that's not something that I that I created on my own that was an insight that someone else shared on YouTube but it was a good video and um, yeah if you're feeling lonely, you know, I it's good to remember sky. things that you're grateful for. And it's good to just take good care of yourself. And you Even when we have people myself. close sometimes, sometimes we feel like something's missing. But all you got to do is make a change. All you got to do is evaluate. Take a deep breath. And know what you need to do to make that right change for yourself so you can stop the negative momentum because it'll happen to all of us no matter what we have in our lives we're always going to feel like something's missing it's just normal to feel that way so yeah if you're a human being you probably know what it's like to not get everything you want in life and to be dissatisfied with life and to feel lonely and to um, just uh, not feel so good it's just part of being human it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you if, um, if you feel like you're not getting everything you want in life, there's nothing actually wrong with you. As a matter of fact, you're probably just perfectly normal. And the best thing you can do is to remember that this negativity that you're feeling right now, this negativity that's going on in your mind, your heart, or whatever it is, it's temporary. And it's not going to last forever. And you're going to overcome it. It's going to pass. This too shall pass. And that's something that I hold dear to my heart. That's something I truly believe. That all things pass. Everything. And I believe that you who are with me, I believe that you're going to be okay. As long as you make some kind of attempt to stop the negative momentum. And create some positive momentum. Practice something and just do something you like. You know, something I do once in a while when... I'm not sure what exactly to do. I just I just watch old Pokemon episodes or a TV show from my childhood or something and just just to nurture that that part of my inner child that's, you know, I guess you can say it's conditioned to society, but still I 
I like Pokemon. I like I like Star Wars. I mean, even if um, there's unnatural, unearthly concepts to it, it's it's still something I enjoy, and it just brings me to a place of simplicity. So, um, I guess in other words, I'm saying that escapes sometimes aren't so bad, and can actually be beneficial for you to just like take your head out of a bad place for a little while. But just do what you know is good for you, and do what is healthy for you, and um, be safe. Be good to yourself. Love yourself because you deserve it. And I love you. And I thank you for being here with me right now. And I hope that during this journey, I hope you overcome whatever loneliness you're feeling, whatever feeling of emptiness or whatever feeling of something is missing. I hope and I pray and I wish for you that you overcome it and that you take a step to stop that momentum, to stop the negative momentum. I pray you take a step towards that. Because if you just take that step, the next step after that will come more easily, and so on and so forth. Just do one thing at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. And take it easy. Be easy on yourself. But don't make excuses. <laughs> don't confuse yourself with it either. Just do what you know is right. And do what is healthy for yourself. Thank you for being with me. God bless. Peace and love to you.